everybody, I'm Joey with Create with Joey, and today I have some really beautiful, sparkling, shimmery, blingy cards to share with you with from a set called uh, Magical Meadow. Yeah, that's the bundle, that's what it's called. And they're wintery type cards, and I just used a lot of sparkling, glittery um, paper, so to make them extra pretty. So, if you're new to me, thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll like and follow my page. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love for you to subscribe if you enjoy the video so that you don't miss any uh, videos in the future. I, right now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get close to the screen because I have to get my iPad going so I can see what you're seeing. And there I see I am live, so that's good. And I hope I'm in the right place. This is not my normal day, so I'm hoping some of you will find me. I'm usually on Wednesdays, and um, I had to have some medical tests run on Wednesday, so I wasn't even sure I'd get on today, to be or this week at all, but I feel better today than I felt the other day. So, I'm here, and I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping you'll jump on. When you jump on, say hello. And let me know um, where you're from. And that helps us kind of get to know each other at least a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to go with my cards. Let me get everything out here. And let's go ahead and... Oops, 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 oops. Almost had a catastrophe with a lot of little tiny die cuts that I have here ready to go. But we're okay. I got it fixed. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. Hi, Kathy. Yay. You found me today. So people are starting to find me. That's awesome. Let me go ahead and click a toolbar here and then that will all go upside down, but you'll be right side up for my cards. So let me do a little adjusting here for a second. Don't look if you get seasick because it kind of takes a minute to get things going. And that's the wrong way. Let's go this way. So I do a weekly, whoops, wrong way, weekly Facebook Live um, with a class to go. And I miss this Wednesday, as I said, but normally I'm every Wednesday at 12.30. So hopefully I'll be able to keep to that, um, you know, most every week. I've been very consistent for many, many months, actually, but I just couldn't make it work because the doctor couldn't get in my procedure um, any day but Wednesday, so I had to take Wednesday. Okay, let me show you what we're going to uh, be working with today. So, today's bundle and featured product on my blog, you can find my blog at createwithjoey.com, um, is Magical Meadow. This, let me pull it out the, the um, catalog page so you can see what all is in this let me find the right page to send you to because this is an absolutely beautiful suite of products it's on page 38 if you have a stampin up catalog september through december you'll find it on pages 36 and 37 so these are the concept artist cards and the samples that they show and then here's all the products in the suite so we're going to work with a lot of these products today so you can actually see what they look like and how pretty they are because it's kind of hard to tell sometimes on a on a printed page and if you don't have a catalog and you'd like to have one let me know and i'll make sure you get one so these are the dies that come with this. So these dies all cut out the images here. And then these dies are kind of the star of the show. And we're going to play with all those today. Here's the little tiny berries die that goes with this holly. And it's kind of odd because the holly is much bigger than the berries. But oh well. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. And I honestly haven't tried this little snowflake. I don't really know what this does. I think it just makes an indentation of snow. We might try that towards the end just to see what it does. But let's go ahead and start on our cards. So for this card, there's very little stamping. There's just a lot of bling and it's so pretty. 
I'm going to start with a basic white thick cardstock, cut five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. Let me see. I'm going to bring up my video. My video says no comments, but I already saw a hello. Let me swipe left. Oh, yeah, lots of you are finding me. Hi, Debbie, Carol, Martha. So, I don't know, my computer. You know, I have this brand new computer. <laughs> Brand new Apple computer that doesn't cooperate. There, now it's bringing up your comments so I can see them. Yay, I'm glad I got some company with me today. Thanks so much, friends, for joining me. Okay, so now we're going to take um, a piece of designer paper. This is from, let me pull it out here. This is from the Snowflake Magic paper. And I'll pull it out really quick so you can see what it looks like. I don't have smaller samples of this, which would be easier. But So here's what we're using today. And there's two sheets of this, 12 by 12. And then there's two sheets of this gorgeous Snowflake paper. We are going to use this in my club cards this month, not on what, we're showing, what I'm showing you today. But I'll show you the club cards so you can see those too. There's the other white one. And then this gorgeous snowflakes i haven't done anything with this yet but i can't wait to play with this it. just so so pretty again that's called snowflake magic okay so we're just this piece of dsp is just three and three fourths by five i don't know if i said that my card you need to make sure you score your cards really well so that they stay flat and we're just going to mount this on a slightly larger piece of Smoky Slate, it's called Smoky Slate Cardstock. If you're not familiar with Stampin' Up! Colors, they always have two words in their name, and this is Smoky Slate. So this is just one eighth inch bigger than three and three fourths, so it'll be three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And that's all there is gonna be to this one as far as the background of the card goes. So let's just go ahead and get this on our white card. You know, I always think, um, we'll do a little stamping. I always think it, you just have to see some of the specialty papers in action because you just can't really, the, you know, it's just impossible in printed form to see how pretty they are so that's why i didn't want to skip my facebook live this week because i really think once you see these cards the um the paper especially you'll really let me um you'll really enjoy them can't finish a thought a sentence without looking at my okay i wanted to see where i needed to stamp my greeting we're just going to punch out i'm, I'm stamping winter wishes and we're going to punch it out with the oval this is called the Double Oval Punch. It has both the scalloped and the, I'm trying to line this up. I'll put it flat so you can see. Um, double oval, so it has the scallop and it also has a solid edge, plain edge. I don't know what you'd exactly call it. But it's really nice. I love using punches and that's a pretty good one because it fits quite a few greetings um just really well it fits this really well so we're gonna go with this now i have done ahead of time have i done all the die cutting i'm looking to see what i have here i have this one and this one i think i need to do the berry oh no i've got the berries okay sorry i'm talking to myself here trying to figure out what i did okay i know what we need to do we need to do one more sprig and we'll die cut that i knew i wanted to cut at least one sprig um in, while i'm live so you can see how these all uh die cut because they die cut really pretty they're just really absolutely gorgeous so let me set this aside i'll grab my machine oops and then let me grab some silver paper this silver paper let me show you quick oh oops 
That won't work. Let me get this out of here. Sorry about that. That's my light and it moves around pretty easily and I just bumped it. So the silver and gold paper, this is self-adhesive. This is online. You won't find this in the catalog, but it's called silver and gold 12 by 12 adhesive backed glimmer, glimmer paper. Silver and gold adhesive backed glimmer paper. So, and it is so beautiful and it's just so nice to have the adhesive backing on it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do one of these we're gonna die cut. And it's just so nice to have it um, be self-adhesive. That just works so well with all these tiny die cuts. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run this through several times. I know it's really hard to see in the video. I can see that it's hard to see the dye on top of the silver paper on top of the white background of the die cutting machine but you'll be able to see it better when I take it off so like this and then like this now can you see that it cuts really well but it does like to stick in the so you have to just kind of gently pull these out and then sometimes it wants to do this which is pull away from the the backing that it's adhesive now on the back because it's self-adhesive paper and sometimes it pulls away from the protective layer but you don't need it anyway so we'll be okay all right let's go ahead and start making our card so we're going to put this guy kind of up here in the corner I'm trying to look at my card I did the other day and we're going to kind of go like this well maybe not that much of a curve maybe more straight looking at my sample because it turned out pretty good and I'm trying to make it do what I did on my sample okay so there's that one now just to save time I went ahead and cut out two more sprigs so this is the one with the berries on it i don't know if you can see that we'll go with that one next and this one where i think we're gonna go a little bit to the no let's go this way with this one and we'll put it down just a little bit farther too i'm not going to push that down really hard because i want to see how everything is going to go together and now this one still has the backing on it. So all you do is take your piercing tool and then you're just gonna gently peel off the backing. Looks like I probably didn't even need my tool because it's coming off. I say that and yet not completely. So see how the backing just peels off like that? And then we're just going to go ahead and put this right kind of like this. So we just have a lot of shimmer and sparkle going on. Trying to figure out where to put this down a little bit further. So we have all of this. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? It's just so pretty. Now this one I'm going to go ahead and stick down a little bit it really doesn't have to stick down too much but you want enough to hold it onto the card and then we're just gonna take this guy it's a really easy card it really is and it's just really gorgeous in person i wish you could see it in person i wish you could all come stamp with me in person we'd have such a good time but at least we can stamp together online or be creative together okay i'm gonna go ahead and stick this I might want these little guys to just kind of come over the edge of my greeting. So I'm going to very gently pull this up. And I'm going to go ahead and stick down my, stick back down my greeting. And then I'm going to stick this back down. And then a couple of those little berries will kind of go off of my greeting which i think that always looks pretty okay let's go ahead and i'm going to stick those down i'm not going to stick that one down just the other ones 
down just to give it a little bit more depth. So we're going to grab our white, silver and white sh sheer ribbon. Couldn't get the words out. Silver and white sheer ribbon. If you guys are commenting, I'm not seeing it. So I'm not ignoring you. It's just my computer doesn't, my laptop doesn't keep up with the comments. And they don't stay up on my iPad. So I miss them sometimes. But I come back and if you have questions or you, you know, have comments or you just share, want to share something, I always come back and read through my comments. So I don't miss any questions or anything that you're trying to share. This ribbon is just gorgeous. I don't think it's in stock right now, but it's coming soon. I think this is a November, early November um, arrival on this. I'm gonna take actually two mini glue dots, one on one side of the knot a little bit and one on the other side of the knot. And then we're just gonna stick those down kind of where our stems all come together right there so it looks like the bows holding the holding the stems together and then you know we can't leave it without bling so i do have something to ask you here for my sample card i used just rhinestones i used the really icy rhinestones the gems that coordinate with this set or that they put the Stampin' Up! put in the suite are these, and they have a little more color in them. So these are called, what do they call them? Faceted Gems Trio Pack. Um, so I don't know, should we try these today? Let me know in the comments whether you want me to do the faceted gems or you think we should stick with the rhinestones. Let me go ahead and put a couple of these down we'll use the white ones i think i used the rhinestones just because i like that really icy white but these are really pretty too these are all one size i do kind of wish they were different sizes you know we also could do a mix that's another idea let's do a mix that might be fun so let's go We'll put extra bling on this one. Let's go up here. Well, I don't want to copy that at the bottom. And then maybe we'll go over here with a rhinestone. So there's a mix of both of them. Which one do you like better? Do you like this one? Or the, do you like the one with the faceted gems? Or do you like the ones with the rhin the rhin just the rhinestones? Let me know in the comments. And even if you're leaving comments on replay, I'll come back and see them. Let me see if I can get my computer to boot up here so I don't miss anything. Um, and see if there are comments that I'm just not seeing. Oh, yeah, there's lots more comments that I'm not seeing. Hi, Brenda. Let's try them, Kathy. We're trying. Thank you, Brenda, for sharing. Thanks, Debbie, for sharing. Hi, Christy. So I miss a lot of you. Thanks so much for coming on and joining me. Um, my computer just doesn't keep up. But So what do you think? Do you like this one? Or do you like just the plain rhinestones? So you can say mixed, or you can say basic rhinestones. Let me know. I'll be getting the other card ready to go. While you're deciding, I think we're going to try the, at least some of these today so you can see what they look like with this, with this group of uh, products because they are made to go with it and, you know, Stampin' Up! usually does a really good job of that. All right, so I'm going to set those aside. Now we're going to go to get a little bit more color. That's a really icy silver one. This card's going to be base. The base of this card is pretty peacock. And again, it's five and a half by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. We are going to put just a four by five and a quarter inside because I always put, if it's dark cardstock, I always put another panel inside so you can write on it. And usually I stamp on the inside. <coughs> um, today I'm just basically showing you all the things that you can do with some of the um, mixture of products. 
So I'm not going to worry too much about stamping on the inside, but there we go with those. I'm going to move them just for a minute. And if you're telling me which one you like better, I can't really see it. I saw Kathy's where she said, let's try a mix. So that's what, or let's try the gems that Stampin' Up! has, the faceted gems, for this sweet. Okay, enough jibber-jabbering. We're going to take... the snowfall sky i think snowfall sky i think that's it um embossing folder you probably can't sorry there's so much glare you probably can't see the snowflakes but you can see them a little bit there and we're doing it on white so you're not going to be able to see it too much on white either but hopefully you'll be able to at least get the idea of it. So for when you use a 3D, this is a 3D embossing folder. When you have a 3D embossing folder, you need plate four. It's called specialty plate in the annual catalog. I had an in-person class last night and someone was saying, well, can't I use my clear plates, a combination of those? I said, no. And she was talking about her uh, Big Shot, which we don't sell anymore. But with the Big Shot, you also, to fit our embossing folders, you have to have this plate. So whether you have a Big Shot or you have the new die cutting machine, you still need what's called a specialty plate in your catalog. Okay, so let's put that away. And let's see, for our card, I'm looking at what else we need for our card. Uh, we need a holly leaf, but I think the rest of the die cutting is done. So let me put that aside. I'm going to grab the holly leaf. Let me throw out all my stuff here. Here's the holly leaf paper. And we'll put that aside. Okay. Let me, we need that one too, so let's go ahead and cut the second one. I did one just to save time, but this will just take a minute to run through here. You probably could cut two actually with this die. Um, I didn't try that, I just was in a hurry so i thought well let me cut at least one of these but we probably it probably will cut two this is the shimmer paper that's in the annual catalog and pretty peacock let me pull that open so you can see what i'm talking about there pull this out because i think a lot of these glimmer papers in the annual catalog get overlooked first of all again because they're can you see the shimmer? It's called soft shimmer paper and it's in several colors. Let's take a look at that so you know where it is. Um, it's with all those specialty papers. I don't wanna lose my holly there, but so it'll be, you'll find it on, oops, I think I passed it, yeah. So it's on page 127 here and it's, um, the soft shimmer is number seven here at the bottom, and it comes in bubble bath, berry burst, night of navy, lost lagoon, and pretty peacock. And, and it is shimmery, but of course you can't really see that in the photo. But we're going to use that for our holly because it coordinates with our pretty paper here. So this card is going to go horizontal like this. So let's grab our... Stamp and seal. And again, if you're just joining, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see the comments. My, I have to reboot, you know, click the reboot on my computer to get everything to come up. And that's the only place I see the comments. So there's that snowfall. Can you see that at all? I'm trying to hold it up. I'm trying to see there. Looks like you can see it there pretty well. It's so pretty. I really love it. I, there are several new embossing folders that I'm really, really enjoying. Um, this is one of them. There's a Distress Tile 3D that's gorgeous. And there's a... 
like a Christmas greeting ones. These are all in the what I'm the ones I'm talking about are all in your um, September through December catalog. Okay, so there's that guy. Let's go ahead and do a little stamping. We'll get our greeting on here. And for this greeting, we're gonna go ahead and use Pretty Peacock ink because that coordinates. That's my favorite thing about Stampin' Up products is how beautifully the ink and the paper and ribbons and markers and everything coordinate with each other. You don't have to stand in the aisle like I used to do at the hobby store and wonder, is this going to go, is this red going to go with this red paper? All right, this is Pretty Peacock, and we're just going to stamp on this circle. This circle I cut out from the Stylish Shapes dies. By the way, um, if you're interested in getting all these cards, you can get supplies for two each of every card I'm making today uh, with your order of $35 or more using this host code. And if you use, if you spend $50 or more, you'll get also get a pack of embellishments that I'll send with it. Okay, so let's, let's see, what am I doing here? Okay, not yet. We need... Now this sprig I cut from another set of specialty paper. This is Moody Mauve and it shimmers too. It's not glittery like this, but it's shimmery. And that's on the same page. That's on the same page as your annual catalog, but that is in the colors of the 2023-25 uh, in colors. So it's, I want to say, I'm not, yeah, so it's here. It's called In Color Luster Specialty Paper. So that's what I'm using for that little bell because this paper contains Moody Mauve, which is kind of fun. So we're just going to actually, I don't have any adhesive on this, so what I'm going to do for these, and I've done this for several of these um, sprigs, and so I'm turning it over on the back. Am I on the back? Yeah, I'm on the back. So what I do for these is I just roll over my mini glue dot and I fold it onto itself like so. And then I'm just going to stick a few in kind of strategic places um, to hold this down. Now you could definitely um, cut a small piece of this paper the size of your die and adhere it to the same size piece of adhesive sheets and then it would become a sticker. Let me do, I'll just do a couple more here. I just didn't do that. I did that on the berries. So I'll show you how I did it on the berries. So let's go ahead and stick this down. Then we're gonna just bring this little sprig kind of to the side here. Our greeting's gonna kind of go over it like this. So let's go ahead and kind of like that. That'll be good, I think. I'm not going to press it down too hard. Again, just kind of put it in place because I have a few other things we're going to make coordinate with this. So let's go ahead and put our greeting on with dimensionals. Now I'm going to purposely keep my dimensionals kind of towards the center of this because I'm going to hook on those holly leaves and berries and I don't want to fight with the dimensionals underneath. Okay, so we're going to kind of go right here. The colder weather brings us together. I think that's such a sweet sentiment. I'm going to go up a little bit because I'm going to get a bow in here somewhere. All right, now I have done this ahead of time. So that glimmer paper that I showed you, um, uh, what is it called? I want to give you this paper. I showed this to you in the catalog. Soft shimmer. I can think of that. So these are the berries, and I did put this. Did I put this on? I think I put this on an adhesive sheet. Let's see if I did. Yeah. Oh, did I? Oh, I can't tell. Thought I did. That's not very helpful, is it? Let's try another one. No, I guess, I, well, if I did, I can't get the adhesive sheet off. So we're gonna just, we're gonna go with 
glue dots. Okay, so let's do the holly first. So this is how I usually do any kind of leaves. I hook them together at the bottom with a mini glue dot. So let's do that. And then I'll deal with my berries. So let's go ahead and stick this on here. And so my class is to go usually the ordering period usually ends on sun, mon, yeah, Sunday night. Um, but I'm giving this an extra day. So you'll have through Monday night, October 30th, I think, to order in order to get this class. And I think this is about where I put my sample card. Let's try it. I think we'll be okay. Let's go ahead and kind of, I kind of want the, the mauve berries in the background, but I also don't want to really cover them up. I'm going to kind of try to go in between those two sprigs right there. Let's try that. Okay, now for these little berries, um, Let's just, I still think I did, let, hang on, let me see if this, if I can get this off. You're like, well, I don't think I'll use those adhesive sheets even if you did because they look like they're a paint. Yeah, these berries are so tiny. Let's forget that. Let's just go ahead and use Tombow. So, now you have to be really careful with your Tombow because you know it's going to um, squirt out. And in fact, actually, I've got... And it's, um, the mini glue dot is showing anyway. So I'm going to put just a little, this doesn't want to come out. That's always dangerous, you know, when your glue doesn't want to come out and then you give it a hard squeeze, which I'm not going to do. But, you know, it's been working fine, but of course I'm on Facebook, so it doesn't want to. Okay, so there's a tiny little dab of glue, which is what you want for this. And then my tool, where's my tool here? This has a sticky end on it, but this is called the take your pick tool. I'm gonna stick that here. And then I'm just gonna put two more holly leaves or berries. Can't seem to talk and run the glue dot, run the, <laughs> see, I can't talk and run. Run the Tombow, that's what I was trying to say. All right, let's grab another berry and we'll go right here. And then the third one. These are tiny, I won't lie. If you don't like to putz around, you might not want to deal with these tiny berries, but they are cute when they're on. They do look really cute when they're, when they're on. Okay, so. And I really did think they looked pretty. The berry burst I thought looked really pretty with the mauve and the peacock. So that's why I chose to do that. Let's go ahead now and put on a little more bling with the ribbon. The ribbon is just really, really shiny and pretty. Let's go ahead and tie a bow. Let me check while I'm tying the bow. Let me see if I can see your comments. Nope, they haven't updated. So let me click refresh and see if now I can see your comments. There's a few comments coming in. Okay. Okay, Chrissy likes the combination. Kathy likes the bigger ones. And Martha likes the myth mix. Kathy also thinks the larger ones look like water drops. Oh, that's, that's a cool idea. I didn't really think about that. Well, we're using the large ones, or I mean, we're going to use the ones you guys like. And maybe we will use both. We'll put some rhinestones. I will only send one, um, one embellishment with your $50 order, but it'll be one of these two. Either the rhinestones or the adhesive back, whatever they are, gems, faceted gems. Okay, let's go ahead and... There we go with that. And I've been wanting to showcase this suite ever since I saw it. It's just 
so pretty. It's actually just gorgeous. I don't even know if you can see how pretty it is. Even there. Even on uh, video. But hopefully you can see better than in the catalog. Because the catalog just doesn't do it justice at all. Okay, there's those. All right, my friends. So now since we're using a mix of these, I think we'll go. So this is supposed to be like Pool Party or Peacock. Or no, Lost Lagoon. This is supposed to be Lost Lagoon. And this is gray. Um, Smoky Slater Basic Gray. One of those two. It, to me, has a little um, touch of aqua in it too. But we'll go. Let's go with the green ones for this one. Heck, why not? We're just having fun crafting and put some maybe up here maybe one more of these they are really really pretty aren't they and then let's go ahead and add some rhinestones so we'll add another rhinestone kind of down here and then let's put some, one, two, three, four, let's put one up there. Okay, what do you think? Do you like those? With it, so here's the one with just the rhinestones. And here's the one with the mix. Here's the one with the mix, here's the one with the rhinestones. So uh, do you think the same on this one? Do you like the mix better than the plain rhinestones? Let me know in the comments. And I'll queue up the comments as soon as I get my other card out of here and ready to go. Oh, before we go to the last card, let me show you the cards we're doing for my Be Creative Club in November. So I use this set and all these same products. Be Creative Club is where you, it's a subscription club. And um, whenever you, you control your subscription subscriptions you can start anytime or you can stop anytime it's $35 a month for in-person or porch pickup and it's six dollars more if you need shipping but you make five cards you get about 20 to 25 dollars worth of product and for your $35 plus shipping so these are the five cards that we'll do for this month for for be creative club so let me come down here a little bit better in the camera here let me move these for a moment so you can see these but here's where I used that uh, snowflake paper, specialty paper. It's just so pretty too. I used a lot of glimmery paper here. Here's um, similar to the one we're making today, not exactly, but kind of. This is another one where I used the holly leaves. This time I made the holly leaves sparkly. Oh, I see the hearts. Bless your hearts, you guys. And then this is that um, mauve paper again with the berries. So this is just one die cut. I stamped the background uh, with a stamp that matches this. And I just thought that turned out pretty. And here's another one. Um, this time I actually did use one of the stamps, the sprig stamps, and then die cut it and the ribbon and they're just so i can't i don't even know if you can see how sparkly they are it looks like you can okay and this one is what this one is going to uh the pdf's going to all my email subscribers this week either tomorrow or saturday and it'll be included in this class this has been a big hit on social media <laughs> a lot of people said can we make that card so it'll be part of my be creative club for november but um so but everybody will get the pdf for this this coming this weekend sometime so there's my be creative club if you're interested in that you can find it on my blog createwithjoey.com or let me go ahead and See if I can bring up on my computer um, the link. Well, I'll give you the link to my blog, and then you can find my club, my classes to go. You can find everything there. So let me go ahead and pop that in the comments. Let's go createwithjoey.com. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and make our last card today. The last date to sign up for the Be Creative Club is November 10th. So you have till the 10th of every month to sign up. If you sign up after the 10th, then you'll get December's.
club. All right, let's go ahead and do our last card here. Let me pull, I did some die cutting ahead of time, so let me go ahead and Sorry, I dropped I dropped this tag and I couldn't get it up with my fingernails. Do you ever have that happen? <laughs> we are going to do some stamping first on this one. We're going to stamp these beautiful berries. Uh, the paper has these berries in blue, so and they look like blueberries to me. So I'm although in the one paper that we just used, they're kind of pink. So I don't know if they're supposed to be blueberries or what, but. They're beautiful berries, whatever they are, and we're going to stamp them today in blueberry bushel. So let's go ahead and get that out. Let me see if I can pull up your comments again and refresh my page. Nope, doesn't want to refresh. Let's try clicking refresh. And there we go. I always see so many more comments come in. Okay. Everybody, Peggy's liking the the mix. Kathy's loving the cards. Christy likes the larger offset with the smaller. Yay, good. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Okay, so here's our blueberry bushel. I need to grab a little piece of scrap paper up here in front of me. Oops. Let's go this way. Well, let's stamp that. And... We'll go ahead and die cut that. And then that's really actually, I think, all we have to die cut. I'm looking at my sample here. Let's get this pulled back in. Get this ready to go with the blueberries. I think I have, yeah, I have, we're using this silver sprig too, so I'm just going to get that out so I have it here. And then let's go ahead and die cut the blueberries. So you have so many beautiful dyes in this set. Um, it's just really stunning. And I used it with all the sparkles, but if you're not a big sparkle person, the dyes are beautiful with plain cardstock as well. You can't go wrong with them. And you know, you could use it for Christmas. It doesn't really have Christmas greetings. It really is kind of a winter set. Because, you know, there's this past Christmas cards. Where if you live in a seasonal climate, you've got winter. But, you know, it's so, so what I'm trying to say is after Christmas cards, it's kind of nice to have seasonal cards. To get through the rest of the winter past Christmas. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. I do like blue for winter. Sometimes I use blue for Christmas too. Especially when you combine it with shimmery silvers and uh, shiny, shiny paper. Okay, just getting all this stuff organized so I can make our card. All right, let's go ahead and stamp the greeting. I should have left my blueberry open. We are having pretty brisk weather here today, and it was fairly warm yesterday. It was 75 yesterday, and today, I don't know. It's got to be at least the 50s. It's pretty cold outside. Okay, this tag, I die cut this in basic white from the Stylish Shapes dies. There are several uh, sizes of this shape. There are circles, there's this shape, and there are squares. So it's a, it's a good basic die set to have. If you don't have it, I would consider getting it because it's really nice for many, many, many kinds of cards. All right, so we're gonna go to our card base now. Let me fold this over. By the way, speaking of Christmas cards, I forgot to share with you, I also do, I'm also doing Christmas stampa stacks this time of year, and I'll show you the one that's coming up. It has a deadline coming up. 
next, well, it's the 30th, whatever day that is next week. So that might be Monday already, Monday or Tuesday. Do you ever have like little frayed edges? So I need to change my blade and my paper trimmer. But if you do, just take, this is an old, old emery board, obviously. You can just do that. So let me get this together and then I'll show you the cards coming up for the Christmas stamp -a stack I used Christmas Classics for that one. And again, you get a lot of products. You get $35 plus, $30 plus in product as well as supplies for eight cards. You make two each of the cards. Let me show you those. So these are, forgive my scribbling note here, but these are my Christmas cards. It's like you can't, let me pull those out at least. So these are my four cards for that class and you make two each of each of these. So I did use a lot of silver and gold sparkle again. And you get gems and ribbon and designer paper. And here's this one to make two each. If you live locally, I offer in person on the third Thursday of November, um, which is what, November 16th. If you don't live locally, then I can send it to you so you can make these at home. So here you go. There you go for those. All right, getting off track. Let's go ahead and finish this one. Again, you can find everything you need to know at createwithjoey.com. You just It's pretty easy there to figure out what's going on and what I'm doing. So here's the one of that berry sprig um, in white, which I think is really pretty too. But these will be pretty in green or any, any color. So I like white and blue for winter. I don't have any adhesive on this. Again, now for this, I'm going to grab my... Tombow, let's get off of the card so we don't have a disaster. And then I'm just gonna strategically put a tiny dot. This Tombow doesn't wanna squeeze very well. Just a tiny bit of adhesive on, on a few of these little dots. I don't really care that everything sticks down. But if you want it to stick down, then you'll just put white paper backed by your adhesive sheets. The adhesive sheets come six by 12 and they, they look like this. And then you just peel, you peel up, cut your cardstock, whatever size you want, cut your adhesive sheet, whatever size your cardstock is for your dies. And then you just stick this down and it, and then you die cut it and then it well i can't get it to come apart but then it becomes it becomes a sticker so this peels off and now this side is sticky so if you've got your you peel this off put down your cardstock nope put down your cardstock on the sticky part then die cut it and it becomes a sticker that probably was not a very good explanation but that's what that's hopefully it was good enough for you to figure it out okay so Oh my gosh, did I lay my, oh yeah, I laid it right on my sprig. Anybody else ever do things like that? Well, leave it to me. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead. <laughs> I think these sprigs are so pretty. And then for this one, we're going to just stick another silver one on top of it. This one, it does have adhesive, it's sticky. So I already, this is the, I put, that adhesive sheet on the silver paper. This isn't the glimmer paper, but the silver paper. Okay. Then let's go like this and get our greeting on. Oh, I want that over. If you're really gentle, you can pull it up if you don't stick it down too hard. Like so. Okay. And then we'll put dimensionals on here. If you're watching on Facebook and you haven't yet liked my page, I would love for you to like my page if you enjoy the video. If you don't, obviously not. But if you want to see future videos, if you like the page, then you're more likely to see them. If you're watching on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to my channel 
so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, for this, who loves Wink of Stella that's watching? Anyone? I'm guessing if you've used it, you love it. So this is called Wink of Stella, and it's just like a little shimmery paint. And I'm going to shimmer up these blueberries so that they're shimmery. Okay. And that's what Wink of Stella does. So for wintry, shimmery cards, it's really perfect. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this. Hopefully you can see it. Can you see the shimmer? Try to bring it down a little bit. I can't tell where my camera or my phone is. It doesn't look like you can see the shimmer very well. But you have to trust me, it's shimmery and they look pretty. So let's go ahead and stick down our blueberries again with some dimensionals. Pull this out here. Let's get a little dimensional. We have mini dimensionals and regular size. So I'm going to put a mini on the top of the berry and then pull off the backings. Then we'll go ahead and get this little kind of peeking out of our, oh, whoops, I don't have the backing off of this one, Pe peeking out over our tag, and then let's go ahead and make a bow for this. I know I don't make cards hardly without bows or ribbon. I do sometimes. I have actually, if you believe it or not, done a whole class where I didn't use ribbon or twine, but I usually like just that extra dimension that ribbon adds. And this one, sorry, didn't get that going very good. This one doesn't only add dimension, it adds sh shimmer and sparkle. So, I love it with these cards and all this gold and silver. Sparkling paper and gems and everything okay there we go let's go ahead and trim my ribbon this bow might be a little big yet we'll, we'll check it out and see if it needs to be needs to be a little smaller well, maybe just a tiny bit i think it's pretty close you can always adjust it, you know, once you kind of see if it's going to work with your card very well. Sometimes it's just the tails. There you go. I think that's better. Let's go ahead with that. Get a couple of mini blue dots. And again, I'm going to put one just to the little bit of the right of the knot and then other just to the tiny bit of the left of the knot. And then when I stick it down here, oh, I wasn't going to use this ribbon on this card. No wonder I was thinking, why does that seem so big? I was going to use, see, um, I, I did this in color twine on this card, and I think it stays out of the way a little bit better. But they're both pretty. Now we need our gems. So for this one, let's go back to our, if I can find the gems that go with this. You guys, I don't know. Anybody else lose things all the time when they're, you just had them? Goodness gracious. <laughs> I don't, I can, just can't find the gems anywhere. I'm looking, I'm looking for Pete's sakes. You know, once I get off the video, I'll find, I'll find them. But you know, you'd think I would just lay them right in front of me. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, here they are. Is this them? No, this isn't them. I, I'm sorry. I'm just wasting your time. So for this one, we'll go ahead and put rhinestones on it because I have no idea where I put my gems. Although at this point, they must be with the rhinestones. All the gems are together. You guys are probably like, Joey, if you're on YouTube, you can fast forward. <laughs> if you're watching live, you have to kind of stick with me. Here they are, they're all together. So let's go ahead and 
Goodness gracious. And I have been even pretty fairly organized today. So let's see here. I don't know if these gray ones would work. That's not bad. I'm thinking clear is probably better. Actually, on the camera, you can't really tell very much difference. So this is the this is the clear one. This is the gray one. Which of those do you like better? Do you like the, here's the clear? Here's the gray. Can you? I'm trying to hold it up so you can see. Clear and gray. Let me know in the comments what I should use. Let me click on so I can see. Oh, Martha loves the Link of Stella. It is beautiful designer paper. And the shimmer paper is gorgeous, Martha. So let me know white or gray. And then I'll go ahead and put on a few rhinestones to see what you like. And of course, clear and gray. Okay. And Cindy says, Cindy likes clear. Chrissy likes clear. Martha likes both. I'm managing to, if I swipe on my iPad, I can see your comments come up. Peggy, I like the gray with the silver trimmed ribbon. Okay, that's, you know, we've used the, we've used the clear. Let's, let's go with gray. We'll go with, whoops, what am I doing here? I like, I like how you're thinking, Cindy. I think that's cool. Okay, let's, let's grab a different size. So this is a little medium size of a rhinestone. And then let's go back to our gray ones here. There is kind of a gray also in the, I'm not pushing these down because I'm gonna just kind of see, get it trying. I think I'll do five. We'll get a balance here of the mixes. I don't like these right over each other. Let's go. You can usually move these if you just don't press them down too hard. There, and then I've got one up there. And then let's get actually a bigger rhinestone and go here. I don't know, too much? What do you think? Can you have too much bling? <laughs> Now that you guys have got me to use um, these faceted gems trio pack, I I think I like them too. I think I thought at first I thought they were just didn't go as well as the rhinestones, but I do really like the mix of the rhinestones. Yeah, that's pretty. Alrighty, there's our two cards for the day. Which one is your favorite? So this is number three. This is number one. One. And then two is the one with the paper, of which I can't find that either. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm usually spacey, but today... I can't even find all my projects. And I usually put them right here together. That's not where they are. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go. And number two. So number one, number two, or number three. What's your favorite today? I really do. You're right. I like, I like the mix of these larger ones with the rhinestones. I think it adds even more texture and it doesn't really take away from all the sparkle. So, and this one, it really makes a difference just adding the, the Lost Lagoon gems. And I like the gray with this. Thanks for your help, everybody. I think it really helped me to hear what you had to say today. And what I also loved about your comments is you told me why. Like, I like that it looks like water drops. Or I like the gray with the uh, silver ribbon rather than the blue. And again, I'm trying to pull up your comments again. So, too hard to pick just one, but if I had to pick, it would be one. That's Peggy's. And 
Am I seeing anybody else's favorite? Oh, Martha loses things every single day, just like I do. <laughs> Kathy says it's a toss up. Um, Martha likes silver, the silvery one. Yeah, I have to say this is maybe one of my favorite cards I've ever made because I just love sparkle and this is just so sparkly. But I do like the red, I do like all of them and I did put a little bit of bling obviously on all of them. But there you go. Alrighty, let me go ahead and bring you up and I'll switch you around. And again, I wanna thank you for spending your time with me. Your time is valuable and I really feel privileged and honored and special that you spend some time with me live or even watching on replay. So let me know if you have any questions, everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.